Welcome to Spidel's Federal's Hacks Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidan. This week, we're covering the beneficial ownership reporting requirement, which starts January 1st, 2024, for certain entities formed in 2024. We'll be covering this topic in greater depth at Spidel's Federal Tax Update webinar on January 4th and 5th. For details on this eight-hour course, go to spidel.com and click webinars. Starting January 1, 2024, the beneficial ownership information reporting requirements mandated by the 2021 Corporate Transparency Act will be phased in over a two-year period. Under these new rules, certain entities are required to report specified information about certain owners and officers to the U.S. Treasury Department's Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, or FinCEN. These entities are also required to timely update any ownership changes. Failure to comply with these requirements can result in significant penalties. Only certain entities formed in 2024 will be subject to the requirements starting January 1st. FinCEN recently announced an extension for reporting companies created or registered in 2024, which will have 90 calendar days to file their initial reports from the date of receiving actual or public notice of their creation or registration becoming effective. Entities in existence prior to January 1, 2024 are not required to file their reports until January 1, 2025. The vast majority of small and medium-sized businesses that form with the state's Secretary of State's office will be subject to the Corporate Transparency Act's reporting requirements to FinCEN. The good news is that most larger companies are exempt from these reporting requirements. For the purposes of these new reporting requirements, a reporting company's beneficial owner is any individual who directly or indirectly either exercises substantial control over the reporting company or owns or controls at least 25% of the reporting company's ownership interests. A beneficial owner does not include corporate or other entity owners, but an individual owner may be a beneficial owner as a result of tiered entity relationships. In its initial report, the reporting company will provide information both about itself and its beneficial owners. The company has to report the following information for its beneficial owners and for entities formed after 2023 only for its company applicant as well. The individual's full legal name and date of birth, a complete current residential address. If the company applicant is a business, the business address of the company applicant can be provided a unique identifying number and issuing jurisdiction from one of the following non-expired documents issued to the individual, a U.S. passport, state, local, or government of Indian tribe identification card, state driver's license, or if the individual doesn't have any of those, a foreign passport, and an image of one of the non-expired documents just listed. Willfully failing to comply with the requirements may result in a $500 per day civil penalty that does not have a cap and criminal penalties of up to $10,000 and or imprisonment of up to two years. Not only can the penalty be imposed against the entity itself, but the penalty can also be imposed against any person who either causes the failure or is a senior officer of the entity at the time of the failure. In addition, a person may be subject to civil and or criminal penalties for willfully causing a company not to file a required beneficial ownership report or to report incomplete or false beneficial owner information. We have been reporting on the beneficial ownership reporting requirement in Spidel's federal tax letter. For more information on this monthly newsletter, go to spidel.com and click publications. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidel's Federal Tax Minute.